several of you were not here last week anyway to learn about counting the Omer. I did send out, I don't know if you had a chance since I didn't send it till last night, um, an article about um, counting the Omer, which is um, actually, um, com we're commanded to do that in next week's Torah Parsha, not, not this, not Kiddushin this week, but next week in Amor. Um, part of um, Amor, it, it goes through all the major, the festivals and tells us what we're supposed to do on Sukkot and on Shavuot and on Pesach. And, and um, at the, I think it's at the very end of that or somewhere in between. Oh, um, it also talks about um, counting the Omer, bringing a sacrifice of um, part of the harvest to um, for seven weeks, 49, you know, you, uh, hopefully you know something about this. It's, it's in a lot of the Haggadot at the, on, for this. We started on the second night of Pesach. So in many Haggadot, it's the last thing you do um, as part of the Seder. It's count the Omer for the very first time. So let, let me bring it up hopefully i have it here so we start by let me do that and then i have to move everything over here come on go over okay no i'm just gonna close it okay so we do this um at night after the um evening service after the mari service it's the last thing we do um, if your service is late enough, it has to be, of course, at sundown or, or else um, you have to remember to do it when you get home later that evening. But um, so in English, um, we generally read um, uh, uh, different versions of this, but I am ready to count the Omer as it is written in the Torah. You shall count from the day following the day of rest, from the day you brought the sheaf of the wave offering, seven full weeks shall be counted. You shall count 50 days to the day following the seventh week. So it's 49 days between Pesach and Shavuot. And, and um, Barbara, yeah. excuse me. Yeah, it's Amy Schoenhout. I just yes. joined. Hi. Hi. Okay. So I was just reviewing because several people who were here today were not here last week. Um, so I was just going over what we, you know, what we did last week. And after we say this little, they call it a little meditation, we say, um, Baruch Ata Adonai Eloheinu Melech HaOlam Asher Kitshanu B'mitzvotav Al Sifirat HaOmer. So the blessing we all know from so many other <coughs> Things and this is, um, you know, for counting al sefirat haomer means for counting the omer, and each day there's there's a different um, the the sentence ends you know differently for each of the forty nine days. So for the very first day it was hayom yom echad. So if you know the numbers. Yom Yom Echad HaOmer. Oh, I'm sorry, it's La Omer. You can see that here. Um, so that's the first night of the Omer. And then um, as you get to a week, it's, it tells you how many days, and then it tells you also how many weeks. And in one of those articles that I sent last night, it explains that the reason for this is because the rabbis, you know, 2000 years ago, couldn't agree well, are we counting days or are we counting the seven weeks? And so this seems to be some kind of a compromise that they came up with, like so many other things that we, you know, that we experience today are compromises that the rabbis had 2000 years ago. So um, what I wanted to put up today is actually day 19. And I wanted to read day 19, um, but because, I'm going to take this down, but because there's rules about this, if you forget to count the Omer one night and you're going to do it the next morning, you can still count, you can still do the count, but you can't say the blessing. Um, if you forget altogether, 
on a given day to do the count, the black, you know, then you're allowed to continue counting for the rest of the seven weeks, but you're not allowed to say blessing. And as I mentioned last week, I don't abide by that. If I forget, I, I say the blessing too. I, you know, so, um, I don't know how others feel about some of these strict rules, but that seems very harsh to me. <laughs> In any case, so when I tried to find 19 this morning, I was on this Chabad website that already switched to 20. So apparently it's all right. We're beyond the point we're allowed to do 19. So that's why we're going to do um, 20, which is really for tonight. So if I can find it again. Okay. So it's Hayom Esrim is 20. So Hayom Esrim Yom. So the 20th day. Shehem Shnei Shavuot. So it's two weeks. Vishisha and six yamim, you know, yom, yamim is days of the Omer. So it's the 20th day and it's two weeks plus six days. So 14 plus six, I always like when the math works, 20. Um, so I, I'm just showing you this for a variety of reasons and just so you're familiar with counting the Omer. So you could see what to, you know, what, what we'd be doing tonight in case you happen to be at services or you want to count on your own. And more than anything, so you can get a feel for some of the numbers. So Esrim is 20 and Shnei is two, Shavuot is weeks, you know, Shisha is six, Yamim is days. So just, you know, just has a whole variety of, um, so is there someone who would like to read um, either the blessing or, or the, 20th day? Sure. I don't know who's talking, but go ahead. Arocha Tad and Nile, Lahenu Melacha Lam, Ashar Kirishana Bamitzpa Tov, Vitzibanu Al Sefirat Ha Omer. Hayam Estream Yom Shehem. Shehem? Yeah, Shehem. Ne Shibuat, the Shesha Yamim. Le Omer. Good. We have one or two more people want to do it? Roberta? Okay, but I was I was going to ask about uh, what's farther down here where it gives the difference from what women say and the men say. Oh yeah. I um I don't know a lot about it. I found this on, I don't even remember where I took this from last week, but it's the first time I've ever seen it for the, with the women's, um, you know. Ac you know, actually that is not true because when I took out, isn't that interesting? When I, when I looked in my Sidor actually, I saw that they have Hinani Muhana. So they actually did give us that even in the Sim Shalom. I, I um, but I just never paid close enough attention to know it was there. Um, yeah, so that's really the only difference is the muhana versus muhan. And, and they mean um, ready. And, and muhana is just the feminine form of muhan. So it, it's not really that different. And then the rest of it, um, I don't think there's gender differences for, for the second part. Um, and and the trans and I read the translation of of this, since we don't even say this in Hebrew. I we didn't do that last week in Hebrew, but um, yeah. So that's really all that is. And I thought it was a big revelation last week until I opened, as I said, my sidor, and it's right there, even in Sim Shalom. So, okay, Barbara. <laughs> yeah, Barbara. What does the sheaf of the wave offering mean? It's um I, I wish I, I I wish I knew more about agriculture to tell you. Does anyone know what what it actually it, it would it actually may you know is it I envision it like um when we're shaking the lulav on Sukkot. Yeah, yeah. as a temple, the priests what that was one of the ceremonies, I guess, when I was it the barley harvest, you know, when they the first mm -hmm. harvest. I think they, it, I think it was both wheat and barley, right. and they'd bring it in. And the there was a certain ceremony where the priests had to wave it around. It's in, it's in the but, Torah. But did they burn yeah. it? Was it like a sacrifice? Would they burn it in the end? I don't remember. It's in it's in the Torah. Yeah, it's it doesn't say a lot. In the, 
But if you look in the articles that I sent, it, it might, you know, if you know, let, let, let do, let's do that you know, uh, uh, when it's not Hebrew time, because that's all in English. Um, but it, it does say more about it in those articles that I sent last night. Um, okay. D um, so do I have a volunteer to read, read it one more time or should we move on? You know. Did someone say? <clears throat> Uh, this is Amy. Baruch atah Adonai Elokeinu Melech Olam Asher Kedushonu B'mitzvotav B'tivanu Al Safridat HaOmer Hayom Esrim Yom Shehem Shnei Shabuot B'shisha Yamim LaOmer Okay, good. So we have all um, fulfilled the mitzvah. I don't know if you're allowed to fulfill a mitzvah early. So I honestly don't know if we'd have to um, do it again tonight after sundown for it to count for the 20th day. But since we're um, just practicing, I, I don't think we violated anything. Um, I, I know I've heard that before for, for allowing people to practice um, saying things um, if it's for educational purposes. Okay. Um, and in any C door, they will give you all, you know, all 49, all 49 days. So unfortunately, the pieces of the Cedarim that we have do not include the counting of the Omer. I, I went through all of them and they all conveniently stopped a few pages before the counting of the Omer. Okay. Um, so now let us turn to, so this is the Ma'ariv service on Friday night. So it comes after Kabbalat Shabbat. Um, Kabbalat Shabbat um, generally takes place before sundown. And then um, at sundown at Ma'ariv, we, um, we start with the Baruch Hu. And I know, I believe we've done some of this very early on in this class. We, um, I th I'm pretty sure we started with the Baruch Hu, but it can't hurt to do it again. Um, and we'll be reading some parts that are not said out loud um, because it's good practice to read even parts that you don't have to know how to say. So, um, Roberta, do you want to start with the bar who right at the top here? Is it big enough? Let's see. Yeah. Bar who at Adonai Amavara Baruch Baruch Adonai Amavara Leolam Ba'ed. Okay. So, when we're at services, um, after the leader says, um, Baruch Hu Adonai Hamavarach, the congregation says, as it says here, it says Baruch Adonai Hamavarach, Leolam Ba'ed, and the leader repeats that. Okay. Um, okay, Roberta, if you want to read another two, three lines here. Okay. Baruch Atah Adonai Eloheinu Melech Ha'olam Asher Bedivro Ma'ariv Aravim Behachma Poteach Sharim Uvit Funa Meshane A team. E team. Oh, E team. Good, good. Okay. Fran, do you want to continue? With, or, or I could read. I think we decided I was going to read first. Okay. Uma Khalif et Hazmanim, um Sader et Hakochavim, Bimish Mirotehem. That's a mouthful. Barakia Kirtso no. Bore Yom Valila, Golel or Mipne Choshech, the Choshech Mipne Or. So Uma Khalif.
Okay, hang on. Okay. Where did you start? Um, here, Umahalif. Ed okay. has my name. Yeah, um, Umahalif. Et has my name. Um, Umasadar. Et hako hakim. Kohavim. 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 Yeah. The most Um, the ro Is that the right way? But yeah, Bamish Baratehem, uh huh. Yeah. Barakaha. Barakaya. Yeah, I think it's an E with a, yeah, that little meta. Yeah. Barokaim. Hard so no. Barak. Yom. Bo Ray. Bo Ray. It's an Aleph. Bore yom velila gola or mishne hashacha choshech choshech is darkness. Yeah, choshech the choshar the choshech mishne or. Okay, so I'm just looking. So um. So kochavim are stars, and this is you know who creates yom v'lai day and night. And right. And um, I'm just looking what golel means. It says oh rolls oh my god, and rolls light before darkness and darkness before light. Isn't that nice? Yeah. Mm. Okay. So um, uma avir. Now, now this is said out loud, maybe only by the person who's leading services. Um, uma avir yom ume vi laila, umavdil bain yom uvein laila. This is that separates day from night. Adonai tzivaot shemo el chai v'kayam tamid yimloch aleinu leolam va'ed. Baruch atah Adonai Hama'ariv Aravim, who brings each evening's dusk. Very nice. Okay. Um, so Jody, do you want to read that? Um, Uma Avir Yom. Moment, I gotta. Uma Avir Yom. Uma Vi. Can you? Can you enlarge it just a tad? Um, let's see. Here. Oh, there we go. Okay, there you go. Better? Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Wait, it keeps doing it. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> I, I don't know. What am I? It's like I'm, I'm getting, <laughs> I apologize. No, no, I just think it's hilarious. It has a mind of its own. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Um La Ya. Uma Avir, here. Okay, I'll start over. Uma Avir, Yom, Uma Avir, La, 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 Ya. Lila, night, Lila. Lila. Uma Avdil, Bain, Yom, Uvain, Lila. Adonai. Zaot Shemo Zaot 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 Shemo El Hai Vakayom Tamid Yamlo Ala Ale Nu Le Olam Vaed Baruch Ata Adonai Hamavrit Hama Ariv Hama Ariv Hama Ariv Aravim. Good. Okay. I'm going to try to make it one notch smaller. Oh, I see. You have to wait to let me adjust. That's why it went before. Okay. Um, 
And then they have an alternative and I wasn't really able to even um, understand what was alternate about it, but we don't need to do both. Um, and this is Ahavat Olam that has a very pretty um, melody, it may probably have many melodies, but so it's Ovat Olam Beit Yisrael, Amcha Havta, Torah Umitzvot, Chukim Mishpatim, Otanu Lemahadita, Akena Donai Eloheinu, Vishofenu Kumeinu, Nasia <laughs> Yo mam la 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 Viva te khata simi mena ne yo la mim Baruch ata adonai O hiva mo Israel Okay It's very nice Yeah it's very pretty Jill do you want to read um you know a couple lines till um wherever you we'll, we'll see Avat olam Jill, are you with? Are you here? I honestly don't see the people. It's terrible. Oh yeah, I'm here. Oh okay, maybe you didn't hear that I called on you. Okay. <laughs> Do you want to read? Are you hearing me? No. You're not? Well, I hear you now, but I don't hear you reading any Hebrew. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but what did, what did you ask me to read? I'm sorry. Oh, here. Ahavat Olam. I'm sorry. Yeah. Starting at the very top? Uh-huh. Ahavat. Um, Ahavat. Mm -hmm. There's no chet. Ahavat. Right. Ahavat. Olam. Beit Israel, um, um, ha, uh, ha, bat, ti, ra, a, hav, ta, a, ha, hav, ta, u, mi, sot, who, Hukim, Hukim was right. Hukim, yeah. Hukim, Umish, Fatim, Uta, Nu, Li, Li, Ma, Dit, Dita. Right, and and this is an O, not an U, because the dot on top. So O Tana, yeah. Al Al Ki Al Ki Adonai Alo Elohino. Yeah. Ba Sha Vanu O Uf Kumino Kumino Kumino. Mm hmm. Na nasi nasiha nasi ach when it's the when it's at the end yeah it's ach yeah nasi ach ba hu ke ach kecha vehu kecha good you want to read one more line no I'm good you're good <laughs> okay. Um, Sarah, uh, so this is Vini Mach the Divre Torah Techa Uvmitz Votecha 
Leolam Ba'ev, Kihain Chayenu, Vi Orech Yamenu. Okay, Sarah. Sorry, Nick. Vinismach Bed Divre Torateka, Uv Mizo Mitzo Teka. It's it's mitzvotecha. Mitzvotecha. Mm -hmm. The mitzvotecha. the vav here is um. It's an, it's both a vav and and then the o is the is the oh, vowel oh, for the consonant. Mitzvotecha. And that's because there's a shva underneath the sadi. The sadi. Okay. Uv uv mitzvotecha leolam vaed ki heim ha enu. Oh, Chayenu. Mm -hmm. um, the Orech Yamenu Uvahem Neha 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 It's just Nege 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 Yom Yomam Va Laila Va Laila Uh Vetecha. No, okay. L uh, L. I think it's Al, but I might not be seeing it right. I think L? it's Al. I can't, yeah. Oh, okay. It looks like two dots here. Yeah, yeah you're I right. You're right. Al. That. It's Al. Al Tasir Mimenenu. Mimenu, Mimenu, mm -hmm. Leolamim, Baruchat Adonai, Ochev Amo Yisrael. Very good. Okay. Does anyone have any questions about anything here? Um, Uf Mitzvot Techa is always a, um, a any version of Mitzvot is, is, you know, is always a challenge for people because the Vav takes on the consonant roll. Um, is there anything else in here? This is Bishoch Venu. We can tell that because the vowel is larger under the shin. Um, I'm trying to see what else is in here that's tricky. That's not Bishoch Venu? It's, it's Shoch. Um, we talked about this the first or second week um, w when you could see the difference in the size. Can you see the difference in the size of the yes, vowel? Yes, but I have no memory, yeah. so I don't remember that that's what we discussed. Okay. I'm just telling you, in this book, it's very clear when it's O because um, it's much, much larger. It's very okay. nice and easy to see. Um, different books indicate that in different ways some books don't tell you at all and some it's harder to see so this book i like it because it's clear okay it doesn't Thank come you. up very often at all um but occasionally um okay so after about the lum we come to the shema which i'm fairly sure we did early on but it's you know most important prayer so let's do it again. Um, Bar Barbara, this is Pixie. I'm, I've, yeah. joined, I've joined. <laughs> Great. Thank you. Okay. Um, let's see. Sheila, would you like to read Shema? Ma Israel Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Okay. Um, do you want to do the Vea Hafta or should we go? No, Vea Bea Hafta. Eight Adonai Eloheinu Elohea Bechol Lebavecha Bechol Nafshecha Uv Uvkol Meodecha Vehayu Advarim Haela Asher Anochi Metzavecha. I'm reading from my book rather than 
Yeah, I see. That's fine. Why not? La Vera. Um, uh, oof. Oof. Call. Oof. Call. Me odeja. They are you. Advarim. Ash. Anohi. Asher. Anohi. Metzabecha. Hayom. Al. Levabecha. Uv. Ushfa. Ve. It's, it's ve, not u. Yeah. Ve. Veshav. Veshav tekam. Are you up to Vishinam Tam? Yeah. Vishinam Tam. Levanecha. Um, had had varim. The, um, wait a minute. Vidi Barta. Yes, Vidi okay. Barta. Bam. Beshiftecha. Beshiftecha. Bibne <laughs> Uf, gosh, uf, uf, sharech, shar, tam, right, uf, shar, tam, leot, leot, al, yade, yadeka, behayu, Leva, leva vecha. Those are tets. Litotafot. Litotafot ben eneka. Uf. Uf. Kal. You see the difference between the kof and the vet here? Uch tav tam. Uf taf tam. The date has like this little, I don't know, I think they call it a tail or something that comes out, but this doesn't have. Uf taf tam. Uf taf tam. Al. Mezuze. Mezuze. Ha. Mezuzot. Mezuzot. Ben. Uf shar. Uf sharecha. Uvisha Recha, good. Okay. Does someone else want to read the Via Hapta? Let's see, who are we up to? Um, Pixie, do you want to read the Via Hapta? Okay. Um, oh um, via Hapta et Adonai Elohecha Bakal Levavecha. Uvakal nafshecha, uvakal me odecha, vahayu had barim, haelech, asher anuchi, mitz, mitzuch, hayom, al lavavecha, ushinantam, lavavecha, vedibarta bam, veshiftecha, babetecha, uvalechtecha, baderech, ushach, vacha, Uf kumecha, uf sharta leo, ad yodecha, bahayu la totafot bene necha, uf tav tacha al mezuzot be techa. Wait, wait, what is this one? Um, where you? Uf tav tam. Okay. Uf tav tam al mezuzot be techa, uvisharecha. Okay, good. 
So I, I noticed that several people, I don't know why, um, say ooh instead of the, but I, I, it's not. It's not a big deal. They both mean and, and it's okay, but I, I'm not sure why why that happens a lot, um, but it happens a lot. Um, and this also has a few of those O's. So, uf, shoch, becha. And again, this is, you know, it's not considered a mistake. It's it's just if you want to read it 100%. So it ha this it's very often in chol, the chol levavacha. Um, and here's an, another mitzvah. Um, okay. And then the second paragraph of the Shema, we don't say out loud and it's quite complicated. Um, so let's not do it here. Um, but, you know, if you can read this, out loud quickly, then you're really a super Hebrew reader. And then we have Vayomer Adonai El Moshe Lemor Zaber. And th this is the part where if you wear it, Talit, you, ki you know, you kiss it seat seat when it says seat seat. Okay. Okay. Vayomer Adonai El Moshe Lemor Zaber El Bene Yisrael. The Amarta Alehem, the Asu Lahem Sitsit, Al Kanfe Vigdehem, the Doro Tam, the Natnu Al Sitsit, Hakana Petil Techelet. And remember, this is that blue thread that you put. Um, that many people in recent years have, have had added to their talit once they found the source of that color blue again. Vihaya lachem litsitsit or item oto uschartem et kol mits vot adonai va asitem otam velo tatu. Asher hotzeti et chem meeret mitzrayim lihiot lachem lelohim ani Adonai lohechem. Okay. Um, Amy, Sean, how do you want to read um, Vayomer Adonai Moshe? I can't. I but I can't sing Torah. <laughs> That's but, fine. I just, like you can. When I get to tattoo ruin, I just love that tattoo. I know. So I, I it's okay. I wish I could. I wish I could. Anyway, if I omer Adonai El Moshe Lemur Daber El Bene Yisrael Vamota Vom. What is it ta or at? I never think. It's ta. The Amar Ta. The Amar Ta Olehem Vasu Vasu Lahem Tzitzit Al Kanfe Vig. Dehem. Big dehem. So that's on the corners of their garments. Confe is corners and vig de is garments and hem is there. Or, or but probably your, probably your, not there. Oh no, here it says their garments. Okay, I was right. The corner of their garments. Okay. Um, la doro tam. Not new, al tzitzit, 
Hakanaf Patio. Techelet. Techelet. Is that that's the blue? That's the thread of blue. Uh huh. Behayu. Behaya. Lechem. Lusitit. Ur item. O. I'm. O. To. Mm -hmm. so there's a, all right, there's a there's a dot on top of the that that's that's a rivi e it's a trope note. It's oh a, okay. Yes. O T O to you were right. O to Uz Kartem et Kol Mitzot Mitzvot. Um, mitz, oh mitzvot. Um, Adonai, Vaasitem, Vaas, Vaasitem, mm -hmm. Otam, Velo, Tatura, Tatuuru, Tatuuru, Ahare. Livach, no, no, Livav Chem Vahare A Nechem. Right. So, um, Livav Chem is your heart and A Nechem is your eyes. Right. So, you won't be mm. um, seduced by your eyes and your heart and your eyes. I don't know why the translation is eyes and heart when this is clearly heart and eyes, but anyway, okay. <laughs> Asher, Asher Atem Sonim Aharehem Lamaan Tis Karo Tis Tis Karo Karu, yeah. Karu, oh. Um, Vaasitem. Va Et kol mitzvotai. Mm -hmm. Vich, no, vihitem. Yeah. V tem. V um make the um the hey part of this, it's like a syllable, V. You know, these three go together. V ye tem. V ye tem. If you want to oh, think the, so the, the, the hey is silent. V ye yeah. tem. Yeah. Kadoshim. Lelo hehem. Mm -hmm. Ani Adonai. Elohim, Asher, Hotseinu, Hasei, ha, no, Hasei, Hatsei T. Uh -huh. Hotsei T. Hotsei T. I took you from the land of Egypt. Hotsei T. Etchem me Eretz. Etchem, Etchem me Eretz, Mitzrayim. Um, le, no, Li, hey, yo, Li, hey, yo, mm -hmm. uh huh, Lechem, Lelochim, Ani, Adonai, Elohechem. I, mean, I apologize to everybody. I take so long, but whatever. <laughs> Oh, no, that's why we're here. I mean, th there's absolutely no reason to apologize. That that is precisely why we're here. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, Roberta, would you want to read the Vayomer? Sure. 
Bayomer Adonai El Moshe Lemor Daber El Bene Israel the Amerta the Amarta El Alehem the Su Lahem Sitzit Al Fante Vig Dehem Lidorotam the Nat the Nat the Nat the Nat so here's an example. Yeah. You can see it's Vinatinu. This is a perfect example where having it, where pronouncing the shva really helps you say the word, right? Okay. Oh, what, what confused me was so underneath the the nun. Uh, I was reading that as a as a. Oh yeah, that's another trope. No. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I could see where that would make you crazy if you don't know that. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Vinatinu. Uh huh. Okay. Right. Al tzitzit, tzitzit, tzitzit. Ha kanaf, petil, tzitzit, oh tzitzit, vehaya lachem. Let's eat seat. Or item Oto Uz Uzkar Tem. Yeah, and it, it do you see buried in here um Zahar like Yisker to remember? Okay. Uh, so you will or item, they will look at it at the seat seat. And remember, et call me to all the mitzvot or the commandments, right? That God made for them, for you. So I, it, it keeps changing between you and them. I, I'm not sure. You shall look at it and remember all the mitzvot of Adonai and fulfill them. Yeah. I didn't know why the corners of their garment. Oh, in every generation, they'll put it on their garments, but then it switches back to you to um, the pronouns keep switching. But anyway, I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh, I just yeah. wanted to it's point fine. out the Zahar, the remember that you might know, you know, from other places. Okay. Um, et, I don't know what you were up to when I interrupted. Et, 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 et kol meets vote. Uh, I don't know. Vasitem O Tom Velo Tat Taturu Ahare Live of Chem The Ahare A Nechem a share a tem zonim aha ready hem lima on tis kiru va et call it vote tie. The the yeah the the he ye I'm sorry you're covering up the balls I'm sorry the he ye tem kedoshim kedoshim Kido, oh kedoshim kedoshim lelo hechem ani I don't know lelo hechem Asher Hose Hose T. Um, 
a et chem mm -hmm. me eret oh, me eretz meets rhyme the li li yot mm -hmm. uh, lachem lelo him ani adonai elo hechem okay so i so I brought you out of the lands of Egypt to be, to be your God. Yeah, um, and I am Adonai your God. Um, so here's another, um, Tis Karu is another um, remember. You can see um, Zahor in, um, in here also, just like we had it in Uzchartem, Zahor and Zahor here. Okay. Um, let's... Barbara? Yeah. What is the significance of the blue thread? It, um, you know, I'm hoping that there's something in here about it because I don't like to tell you things just based on what I remember without some authority. I, you know, that's another one that I will, um, the significance of it is that it said that God told us to place a blue, a thread of blue yeah. on the sea. I mean, that's right. the, but well, what Barbara, God meant by I'm that, um, you know, I'm not an authority to tell you what God meant when God said that. <laughs> uh, Barbara, Barbara on, the, on the bottom of the, the English page, uh, of the uh, left looking, column, the thread where, of blue where, on the bottom. Where? I'm looking all around. Where does yeah, that, just move over to the left, a thread of a thread of blue, a thread of blue, blue like the sea, blue like the sky, blue like the color of the divine throne. Oh, that's very nice. That's, yeah. That, yeah, that's nice. I don't think it, it's just someone's poetry about it, but yeah. Um, and, and what makes, why I mentioned it before is it disap, I forget what, there's a, a there's a, some animal that it comes from. A, a mollusk. I what is it? A mollusk, but it's a particular mollusk. And, right, and it was lost for hundreds and hundreds of years. They didn't know how to make the color anymore. And then, I don't know, I want to say 20 years ago, some researchers, suddenly found it and um and so a lot of people started um adding the thread to their talit and now many talit are just made with with it you know from the outset um so i just can... i just googled it real quick it was yeah. a, a gourd and this is a brief it's the blue wool known as the tekalit was the, the yeah. nobility and in line with the Talit, oh. to reminding the Jews that he is a member of God's, and then it goes on. Okay, mm -hmm. that's nice. Okay. Um, um, one of our one of our rabbis said that um, different tribes. I'm not talking about the the different Jewish tribes, but different peoples had um, certain garments that identified them as their particular people so the Jews wore a four-cornered garment and they put this thread of blue on the tzitzit and that was their identity that they were members of the Jewish people and well, maybe other great. people had red or their um, so-called talit um, oh. uh, were you know green or whatever but ours were white and it had this blue thread well, that's nice. Wow, that's really interesting. And that's why the Jewish flag, the Mogandovid, is uh, blue. Blue and white, oh, yeah. Maybe. Blue yeah. and white. Yeah. Well, that's interesting. I, ne I never made that connection either. Uh -huh. And originally, they were going to put a gold star um, because Hitler made the Jews wear the yellow star. Mm. Um, and then too many people said no, they didn't want to be reminded of that. So they changed the star to blue. Oh, good. Wow. I didn't know that. That's cool. Um, I'm going to stop now, and I want to. I think I want to play a song for Yom Hazikaron. If I could, um, no, I don't think it's that. It's not that. Um, 
Where did I put it? Um, okay, here it is. Okay. Are you seeing this? No. You no. Do. Okay, then let me go back to Zoom first and then share screen and then go back to it. Um, no, here it is. Okay. Let's see. Finally, we come to Mayor Ariel's great song. Avarno et paro, avor gavetzeh. Yeah, but I'm still finishing Hebrew. Pharaoh, survived Pharaoh. We'll get through this. And in the song, Mayor actually avoids all of the obvious obstacles, struggles that Israel faces. It's not a song about war and peace and terrorism. It's a simple song, or at least a separate song. A citizen who feels overwhelmed, like the citizen in the song Ezo Medina, What a Country, who feels overwhelmed by bureaucracy, by taxation, who can't cope with the encroaching technological world. This song was released in the early 90s, so it's the beginning of the internet era. And Meir Ariel, kibbutznik, grew up in the same kibbutz as Shalom Tanoch of Hamuz. Meir was a paratrooper who fought in Jerusalem in 1967, went on to become the great bohemian voice in Israeli music was one of the first to sing about drugs and homosexuality and, and the, the Palestinian tragedy and bringing all of those loaded subjects, loaded at the time, today much more normative, but bringing those suppressed topics into the heart of Israeli music. There's a song here. And in this song, he reveals why he is one of our most beloved musicians. And I should add that he died at age 57 in 1999, one of really the greatest losses in this generation uh, for Israeli music. And what Mayer does so beautifully in the song is combine his frustration with the smallness of Israeli life with his deep connectedness to the larger picture of Israeli perseverance of Jewish survival. <laughs> And these songs in the aggregate tell us something essential about what it means to be an Israeli. And that is, we complain, we criticize deeply, we are aware, acutely aware, of the faults of our society. And at the same time, without feeling any sense of dissonance, any sense of contradiction, we are passionately in love with Israel, with Israelis. And I hope that these songs will give you some small indication uh, of why that is, of the vitality of Israeli culture and the love affair of a people with, with, with its story. Chag Sameach, happy Israeli Independence Day. Thank you for listening. I can send that to you. He has, as you might have seen, 12 of his favorite um, songs on there. I don't know if you know um, Yossi Klein Halevi. He's a, an author and a journalist and a lecturer, and he's fabulous. So, um, OK, so we will continue next time um, with oh. more. Who's talking? Yeah? Someone talking? 
um, with more of the Friday night service, which as you might recognize as, you know, has many, many similarities to the Saturday morning service. So, um, so it has many functions. Um, any questions, any comments, requests? We're good? Okay. All right. Have a good Shabbat and we'll see you Shabbat. next time. Thank you.